What's a good situation question that you ask now to help them find out what their current situation is? Because as you know, most of your prospects don't really understand what their situation is when you first start talking to them, right? You know, I'm still developing these questions, but basically I'll say, you know, um, are you are you aware that many of the businesses like yours are, are experiencing rate hikes? Um, and I'm not sure if, if that's affecting you right now, but it might yeah. be something we want to take a look at, you know, or, or even just finding out, okay, what is, what is the situation, right? What, what are you currently using to process, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, you know, or are you using? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, like I know a lot about your space. Can, can I ask who, who do you guys use now for your, you know, your, your processing? So uh, we, okay. And what, we, are your, what are your bills typically, you, you know, what are your bills typically look like? I, I know a lot of months they're, you know, they're lower, but what have they, what have they been making you pay recently? Like what have the, the rate hikes been recently? See how I downplay it? Like I know yeah. a lot of, a lot of the months they're, they're pretty low, but what, what have you noticed they've been making you pay recently with the rate hikes? Right. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know a lot about your space. I know. I know about every space pretty much now at this point. Okay. Cause it yeah. downplays it where they're like, Oh yeah. I mean the rate hikes, what have they been making you pay recently though, with all the rate hikes making you pay or forcing you to I pay? like making you pay. It's really good. Yeah. Because nobody wants to be made to pay rate hikes or forced to pay. As you get into the conversation in your industry, you can start talking about what have they been? Okay. But what have they been forcing you to pay? Like in the last six months, see, nobody likes to be forced to pay or made to pay a certain rate. You know? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, what about, how do you help them find out what their real problems are now? Like problem awareness. And I know you're still developing this, even though you're up past 20 grand a month now, <laughs> but what, what is a good question that we, you started to use from the training to help them see that they have a problem? You know, really just, I mean, right now I'm having, I'm drawing a little bit of a blank, <laughs> but this. really going, just going into the you know, looking at what we've talked about, really, whatever they talk about, I bring up, mm -hmm. you know, bring those problems mm -hmm. to light, you know, and just focus on, you know, hey, with in your current situation, mm -hmm. do you realize this, you know, that you're paying more or, or yeah, is that something you want to change? You know, I saw yeah, I so after my, they talk about the rate hikes, is still right. not very good. You know, my oh, structure I know, but even months. with even with the bad structure, it's taking you from seven to 20 grand a month. Yeah. Yeah. Once you actually start learning the structure, because it takes time, you'll, yeah. I mean, I'm just being very real with you because you're training a lot of people in your space. You'll be over 50 grand a month once you get the structure down because you're still getting it down. That's why you're only at 20, but you've only been here less than 90 days. Going from seven to 20 grand a month in like 68 days is no complaining, right? Okay. But you'll get there. So what about, um, how do you get them to see what their future is going to look like once the newfound problems are solved? You know, like solution awareness questions. There's like a good solution awareness question you can share with everybody that helps them to, to see what it's going to feel or look like once they have this newfound problem solved. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of that is, is customer service. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking, when we're talking about customer service, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you're working with us, when you make that phone call, you're, it's not going to be to one eight hundred number. It's going to be to me. It's going to be where you don't you have someone you can count on. Mm -hmm. Where right now, what's happening now? Mm -hmm. You know, you told me that every time you call, you're waiting on hold for hours. Yeah. So, so we're going to be able to, you know, take that time and put it where you can keep yeah. working, and I'm here for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's really getting them about to see what the future is going to look like. You know, once the once the problems. What what do you think of the two biggest problems that your solution solves in your mind, Zach? Number one is saving money. Okay. Uh, how much do they save on average? Well, I how, just, much, how much? I how much? How much are the rates? Like, what is that? What are they used to paying? Are they used to paying like three percent per transaction or what? People, yeah, people generally are paying between two and a half and three percent. We have a program where they pay zero percent. Okay. And so that can possibly save people, you know, hundreds or thousands. I just signed up a restaurant over the weekend that's going to save $50,000 this year. Yeah. So we're it's talking good. serious savings for Four people. Grand a month. So, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. high, but it's all so in a, good, a good solution awareness question for your industry because I know you're still developing these is okay, so besides just, you know, saving the the half a percent per transaction, because I mean, it's not going to be much. You're going to save, you know, maybe fifteen hundred. You save two thousand dollars a month. You just say that you downplay. Like it's not going to be a ton. You're from what you're telling me, you're only going to save maybe a couple grand a month 
you know, in transactions. So over a year, you're only going to save twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a year. Besides just saving the money, because everybody comes to us for that. How do you see? What would I put in there? How do you see what helping you the most though? How do you see those trying to help? How do you see this helping you the most though? Besides just saving the money, because everybody wants to save money. And, and like I said, you're only going to save it like a half a point here. So you're with what your bill, what you're telling me, it's not going to be a ton. You're just going to save two, maybe three grand a month. So, you know, you're only going to save like $30,000 a year. But besides just the money, how do you see this benefiting you the most though? And here's why that works. Okay, This is for any industry because you repeat back what they said they wanted. Mm -hmm. But besides that, because now, rather than them just saying the reason why they are looking at this is because they want to save money, now they give you a few other reasons why they want to change. And the more reasons the prospect gives you that they want to change, the more what? Likely they are to change. The yeah. less reasons they give you why they want to change, they are less likely to change, right? Because it builds a bigger gap from where they are compared to where they want to be. Make sense? And I know you're still learning that. So you, you yeah. just... Absolutely. Just scratch, like I said, scratching the surface and, and, you know, I'm still all over the place. I know you are. But, I can tell. But there's little, there's little ones I've thrown in that are, you know, some of the, the little lines that I've integrated that have been really helpful. You know? What's a good consequence question you asked to get them to think about the ramifications if they don't do anything? Um, you know, I'll say, what are you going to do if this keeps gone going and, you know, a, six months, a year from now, you're, you're still in the same situation and you haven't really changed anything. What are you going to do then? And what, how do they respond to that? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I you know, I guess I, I don't, that's what, maybe I'll change then. I don't know, you know, or they'll go, yeah, maybe I should do something about this. Well, you don't have to. I mean, why look at this now? Like, why not push it down the road? Like, you know, a lot of unsuccessful companies would. Yeah, I mean, see, there's a just question. a way you can do that. So, yeah. So your your consequence question, we'll have to we'll have to tweak that. Like, what happens if you don't do anything about this, and you just keep overpaying on your processing each on each card or something? You just what happens also, if you don't do anything about this, and you just keep overpaying for your processing every month? Yeah. What happens if you don't do anything about this? And you keep overpaying for your processing every month. What are yeah. you going to do then? Have you thought about the ramifications if you just keep overpaying for your processing every month? Yeah. Have you thought about the ramifications? Yeah. I'll let you work on that. Those are on the virtual training platform you, in the group training. All right. Um, I've got to run in a second because I've got to be on a podcast. I'm trying to be on time these days rather than going over. Uh, I don't have time to go through like your presentation and how we're teaching how to do that. But what's a good commitment question you're asking to get them to commit to take the next step? Well, you know, I, I'm not even sure if this is the right kind of question you're asking for. But one of the ones that works for me is asking, um, you know, does do you think this is something that could work for you? Yeah. And one change I want you to implement. Yeah. And this is in the newer version of NEPQ 2.0 that you're going to see uploaded in your portal in about two and a half, three weeks, because it's just being edited. I just shot it. Is you're not going to say, do you think, because that gets them back in logical based thinking. You want to say, do you feel? Do you feel like this could be the answer for you? See, feel yeah. oh, yeah. it means based buying decisions off emotion, not thinking, not logic. So you don't want to get them back into logic based thinking. You want to get them into feeling mode because that's where the buying decisions are made. So that one little tweak, do you feel like gotcha. this could be the answer for you? Yeah, I do. Or, well, we do, but, and then they tell you their concern and now you know the concern and help them overcome it, right? Hold, hold on. I, why do you feel like it is though? See, that's a probing question. Yeah, I love that. That's one of my favorites is why do you think that it is though? Because then they start telling you all the reasons why it is and it's in their brain that, oh, this is, I have to do this. Why do you feel it is? Why do you feel it is though? Why do you feel like it is? Feel, not think. Stay yeah, away from why do you me. feel like it is though? Yeah, there you go. See, you're learning from me today on this slide. Yeah. All right, perfect. All right. How do you everybody? Mean by that? Jeremy, how do you mean by that? Yeah, I like that. Zach, any last words of advice you'd give to maybe somebody brand new that's just looking to get into sales, or maybe even a veteran that's you know already doing decent, like you were making 80, 90 grand, 100, 120 grand a year. Uh, any last words of advice you'd give to them, maybe to help them get to the next level? Yeah, I would say to take it seriously, um, practice. Pretend, you know, if you want to be a professional, 
then you got to put in the work really and, and learn this stuff. And it really does work. Well, rumor has it. That's why we have over 13,000 testimonials in the last two and a half years. I yeah. think if you can internalize it, it works for you, you know? So <laughs> thank you very much, Jeremy. You're, you're still on the tip of the iceberg. And you are, are, yeah. almost tripled your income. So well done. You know, three months from now, you should be up even higher than 20 grand a month. All right, everybody. Thanks for being on. Um, make sure, uh, go ahead and message me directly right now. So you want more details about the tr same training that Zach's going through that took him from seven grand a month to 21,000, almost 21 grand a month within, I think, less than 90 days. Okay. Because we, we have thousands of these stories. Unfortunately, I can't interview you know, because we onboard almost a thousand, more than a thousand new clients every month. I can interview everybody, right? So thank you for being on here. Uh, but if you want to acquire the same skills that Zach is acquiring now, because he's only at the tip of the iceberg, even 20 grand a month now, okay, compared to what he will be even three to six months from now, message me directly right now. You want to start making your first 10, your first 15, your first 20 grand every single month in commissions? Or let's say you want to start making 25 or 30 grand every single month or 40 or 50. I'm not kidding you when I say that. I have We have clients in every industry watching me right now. Everyone watching me right now here. We have clients in your industry that are making two, three, five times more than you are right now. And the only difference is they just have acquired a more advanced sales ability that works with human behavior compared to what you're doing now. Okay, so uh, message me directly right now and we can get you details uh, on how we can help you get to these numbers. Zach is just barely cracking at three months in in your specific industry. OK, so make sure you uh, join the Facebook group here. You can see the banner in purple there. Does everybody see that SalesRevolution.pro? Join the free Facebook group there. Make sure you follow me on IG at Jeremy Lee Miner. So there, make sure you use the right account. There's a lot of spam accounts out there. I have 314,000 followers, 314,000. If you see an account that has two or 5,000, that's not me. That's like a crypto bot or something, all right? So make sure you message me directly right now. If you're on LinkedIn, my Facebook group, my personal Facebook or the Facebook business page. If you're on YouTube, you'll have to join the free Facebook group to message me or at least Instagram, okay? So message me directly right now. We can give you different training options for your industry. If you want to start making the type of money that our clients are who are in your industry. Zach, thanks for being on. Appreciate you. Love you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon.